Hey guys, welcome back to Isaac's RCs and thank you for tuning back in. And in today's video, I mean, I don't know what else to film. So today I will be um, filming and reviewing and showing you guys the, as you guys can see, um, you can't see that much, but it's the my camera drone, which is the DJI Spark. And I used to have the, I which I said in the other video, I had the Traxxas TRX 4M and I think it was the K, yeah, it was the K10. It was a 118 scale mini crawler, the red truck. And I recently put it for sale because I honestly didn't like it that much. It was really good. I mean, it could crawl up big rocks as well, but I didn't like it that much because I wasn't interested that much in crawling. So I just decided, you know, like probably try to sell it or trade it up for a different type of RC. But um, for that thing, I posted it up on Facebook Marketplace and I got someone who was interested and he traded me his DJI Spark, it was used, but this thing usually goes for around $300, right? $300. And the kitten, the Traxxas Mini Crawler, it goes for like 180. So I got, I did the trade and I took the drone. And this is the same exact drone where I shot and I um, recorded that, that view on the other video with the sledge, if you guys check it out. And um, that's where it was like a street. I put the drone up in the middle of the street and I put it up. And I left it there and I left the recording and I recorded the tractor sledge top speed flybys. But with this drone today, I might not be able to do that many things, but you know, I'm gonna just try to show it to you guys. And as well, I might have to change some things up with the channel because I can't film other videos. I can't film right now with the mini slash, the 116 slash, because um, one time I was going to use it and then the cable for the ESC, that the black cable for the ESC that is, that is connected to the battery, it disconnected completely, so I can't use the ESC. And now I had to replace it, which will cost up to like probably 60, 50 dollars for the ESC. And then same with the the one tail one ten scale slash. I can't film anything right now because last time I went to the track and I went to go film, I was using it, and then after I stopped using it, and I think I turned it back on. And now it's just, you know, trying to play with it for a bit. Um, the transmission started making another sound, or nuts, like weird noises. And that, and I've already replaced the transmission one time. And that was only like two months or three months way before that happened. So, you know, I'm having so many problems with the RCs right now. And then with the sledge, there's honestly no problems with it right now. The sledge is perfectly fine everything. I haven't lost any screws yet or nothing, but haven't done any damage, haven't replaced any parts besides just a couple screws, which I which I became loose and falling off. But honestly, there's nothing going on with the sledge and I don't know what to film as well because I had the, all I could do is just go out here in my street and film for the, the sledge. And I know that might be pretty boring for you guys, but one day I'll go out to a park and th where there's a field, a grass field, and I'll try to record a video for you guys and I'll take the drone as well. But let's just get into the video. And first, I'm gonna, let me show you guys real quick. Sorry that I'm talking for a long time, but I'm gonna show you guys the drone in a bit. So as you guys can see, here's the drone, here's the box. This is DJI, it has the code and everything right here. And then it's just like a plain styrofoam type box. And here's the code and everything for the Wi-Fi. Cause to connect this drone, you had to connect it with the Wi-Fi, so. I thought it was just by the app. I mean, you can either have the controller or you can control it through your phone, which I personally do it with the phone because when I traded it, the guy just gave me the drone by itself with the batteries and you just connect it with your Wi-Fi and connect it with the DJI Go 4 app. And that's all you need to do to in order to fly the drone. And you can do it through your screen as well on your phone. But um, the guy, here it is, there's the drone. And this is like what I said. This is the one I filmed the Traxxas Sledge video over there in the street outside of my neighborhood. And then um, yeah, it's pretty cool, it's pretty small. It's not that big, you know, it's like the size of my hand. And um, I say, I mean like the, the box is probably like around eight to seven inches and in, you know, in each side. But the drone is pretty cool. It's a pretty, it's a pretty decent sized drone. It is kind of heavy though, so. Yeah, it's pretty good quality. It's from think I think it's this released back in 2017, and even though it's like five more than five years old, I think you know it's been like six years almost. Um, it's 
the quality is pretty good. It's just that this camera drone doesn't have a microphone. So that's why when like, you guys watch the clip on the sledge video, you guys couldn't see. and you, Or you guys could see, but you guys couldn't hear any audio because the, the drone has no microphone. But out of all, it's a pretty nice drone. Here it is. There's a, I, uh, I already put a battery inside. And the weird thing was that when the guy gave it to me, out of it came with three batteries and it came with extra propellers but out of the three batteries only one of them worked and he didn't give me the charger so i just bought the i got the charger for like from amazon for like 20 bucks and that charger charges up to four batteries at a time but i realized that you know <laughs> these other two batteries don't work so i only could use one and they usually last like around 10 minutes but you know um here's the drone as well and when you turn it on to, in order to turn it on, you have to click it right here where the battery is. You have to click it once, there's the battery, and then hold. And you will start hearing the fans turn on, the cooling fan, and then it will turn on. There you go. There's the drone. It has pretty bright lights, you know? And then with the app, you can control how you want the camera to be. You want the camera to look down, look up, look straight. And then you can control many things through the app. But right now, I'm going to just go in the middle of my street, my neighborhood street. And I'm going to go over there and record it. You guys might not, it might not have no audio. I'll probably try to play, like, you know, non-copyright music if I can, if I can find any. Or if I can edit it into the, the video. But let me just connect the drone and I'm going to start, um, um, so I'm going to start recording with the drone. And I might just take it up and, because I'm in... And then I would just take it up and make the drone look over there. And you can see all the city over there and everything. And let's see how it goes. So now I'm just connected. And in next clip, you guys will see the drone camera footage.
And there you guys go. There's a there's like a four or five minute clip of the drone right there. I'm sorry if the clip was a bit too long. And I'm sorry you guys can't see, but you guys could barely see anything. I'm sorry. It was, it was dark outside. It's like 8 p.m. right now. And um, but yeah, there's the drone. And sorry if I, I you know the video was a bit boring, but I'm just trying to make videos right now. And I right now I have zero plans, and I don't know what else to make for videos. But um. I will try to take my tractor sledge to a park that's like two miles away from my house. And they ha there's like a, I found that there's like a dirt trail. They have like a trail and like a little mountain. So it's like a park, they have a basketball hoops, a so like two soccer fields, and then have like a kids, a kids playground and stuff like that. And then on the other side of the park, there's like a mountain, a small mountain, and it has like a trail for you could go like mountain biking. It's like really, it's a really small trail though. And it's only like up a small mountain, like that's probably like a house, like the height of like a house of two stories or three. And um, you could go, you could like walk around the mountain and the trail. And I usually go there sometimes on my mountain bike with my brothers and my siblings. And we sometimes go there and just ride around. And then there's like a huge mountain in the back. And the other mountain, you, like it's not part of the trail, but you know, it's really big and it's like double the, like double the size. And I would try to go to that park and probably um, take the sledge out there. And then if I go uh, outside the park, like there's a piece of land that's like all dirt. And then someone built like a ramp where like dirt bikes go. There's only, it's only like one ramp, it's pretty small. But I feel like probably mountain bikers and dirt bike people that ride dirt bikes go out there. And I have gone to the ramp and I do jump in sometimes on my mountain bike. So I was thinking of taking my sledge and my drone there one day. And I was just taking it all in the backpack. But my, I mean, the sledge is pretty big, so I don't know how I'm gonna take that one. But, you know, I'm gonna just try to uh, record my video, record my video, more videos for you guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'll try to record more videos for you guys and hopefully to entertain you guys and hopefully see this channel grow. Cause I have made so many YouTube channels when I was younger. I've made like when I was probably like in second, third, fourth, fifth grade, every single grade I've made YouTube channels about different things. When I was little, I used to make them about like Pokemon cards and all those things. And now I'm 14 and I'm just trying to, you know, well, see if this YouTube channel will grow and like if I could pursue this channel and I might change the channel up because um, we are we might move to a different house so and then I I am trying to get a mini bike like the Coleman mini bikes I have had one before and I mean I have like the CT 100U which is like a really small one for kids but um, if you know if I if I move out of here and I still pursue this channel and I still um, work on this channel. I might have to change the channel up. I'm gonna just change the name, you know? Like, instead of Isaac's RC, I'm RC's, I'm gonna change it to Isaac's Hobbies, Isaac's Hobby, or Hobbies, or something like that. Or I'm gonna just take, change it to my my actual name. And then, um, um, I don't know about vlogging, I might not do all that stuff, but I will. If I get that Koei Mini Bike, or if I get any other thing, like a, like a motorbike or something like that, like a mini bike, I will record videos on it and I will modify it and I will record a lot of videos for you guys because I already have the equipment I need. All I need is my phone, which I'm recording in right now. And then that DJI camera drone, I could just take, I could just find a nearby trail and put the drone all the way up and just record the bottom of it. And you guys can see how I go around the, the laps and stuff on the mini bike or on the sledge. So at this moment, I have almost everything I need. But I will try to do my best to keep this channel going and hopefully I see this channel grow in the future and hopefully I could pursue this account and actually put hard work into it and keep pursuing it even though if I have no ideas I'll just try to find more ideas and think of and you know put hard work into this channel. But overall, thank you guys for watching the video of my camera drone right here. I hope you guys liked it. It was it's a pretty cool drone, you know. It's like over six years old and it's pretty good still, but you know. I'm gonna try to probably get GoPros as well. So if I actually pursue this account and it gets over like a thousand subscribers and I have the mini bike, I'll I will modify the mini bike and I will take it out to trails. And when I get that mini bike, I will get a helmet and I will um, record with the GoPro and I will have my phone probably recording somewhere else in the drone and my GoPro. And I could probably record a lot of videos of doing top speed tests with flybys and everything, you know? And I'm gonna modify the mini bike, probably doing engine swaps, stage one kids onto it. But you know, I have many ideas and plans that I really want to do in this channel, and I hope I pursue them, and I hope that I do them one day. I don't know, but overall, thank you guys for watching this video, and hope you guys enjoy. I mean, it was a pretty boring video, but I just I'm trying to post more videos throughout time. But 
um i doubt stay tuned because i will post that video on the trust sledge on jumping that dirt ramp and if I go to my my dad's one day. We go to the RZ track. I will record a track video with the sledge and with my siblings RCs because my dad has the slash 4x4 ultimate, the orange one, and my brother has the ultimate as well, 4x4 ultimate slash, but he has the green one. And I have you know the sledge is my favorite, and hopefully um one day I will record videos on the track and I will record videos on mini bikes one day. But right now I don't have I don't have the money for a mini bike. I barely got money. So I'm gonna have to start saving up and hopefully at least get a small mini bike and start growing and growing, get more mini bikes and even end up getting a dirt bike and start filming videos with them. But you know guys and thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys stay tuned and you know I don't I'm not gonna ask you you don't gotta like and subscribe. It's that's your choice. I'm not gonna force you guys. I'm not like those other YouTubers but Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And stay tuned for that video of the sledge. It will be coming soon, probably like around next week. I don't know about this week because I have school. But um, this is my on the weekends. I'm not able to film videos, but I am on the on the weekends. I go to my dad's, and that's why I have a chance because we go to um, sometimes we go to Arizona where he has a, a land. He has like one acre of land. And we just play with the RCs out there. It's like all dirt, it's like desert. So we have like so much freedom space to play with the RCs. And we will probably go there as well and do off-road testing and everything. But you guys, we know guys, thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys stay tuned with this channel and I hope to see this channel grow in the future and soon. But thank you guys for watching. My name is Isaac and I'll see you guys soon and God bless you guys.